Good morning. Here's another wonderful do not be afraid from Jesus. Jesus at the Last Supper speaks to his disciples in John chapter 14 and he says to them, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. In my Father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. Jesus says to his disciples to take charge of their hearts and their emotions, to be in control of them. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid, he says. You believe in God, believe also in me. He encourages us to take authority over our own emotions and not allow our hearts to run away with us. There are many reasons to be afraid, brothers and sisters, but none of them match up to Jesus. Jesus says to his disciples over and over again, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You believe in God? Well, believe also in me. Trust me. He said, I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And there's many rooms in my father's house. Brothers and sisters, God has room for you in his house. He has a room for you in his house. In fact, the word in Greek is mansion. He has a mansion for you on his estate. He has a place for you that Jesus is preparing right now as he waits at the right hand of the Father until all his enemies are made a footstool for his feet, Jesus will return, brothers and sisters, and take us to be with him. If you've died before he comes, no problem. He will raise you up so that together with the people who are still alive, we'll be caught up together with them and all meet the Lord at the same time in the air. And there'll be a new heaven and a new earth. Brothers and sisters, the future is very, very Jesus and we have nothing to be afraid of he says to us do not let your hearts be troubled do not be afraid in my father's house there are many rooms and I'm coming back to take you to be with me forever wow what a wonderful reason not to be afraid of the future brothers and sisters the future can only go one way because Jesus has died for all of our sins has rose again, has ascended to the right hand of his heavenly Father, is sovereign over all, and all authority has been given him in heaven and on earth, and all of the universe, and every universe, is his, and his alone, Jesus, is Lord. So don't be afraid. Lord Jesus, we choose to take authority over our own hearts now, not to allow them to be troubled, not to allow them to be afraid. We choose to trust in God our Father and in you. We trust in the Holy Spirit's help every day. Thank you, Lord. Amen.